and succulent growers, it's Lynn. And in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how you can remove or prune the dead leaves or branches, whatever you want to call them, from the Medusa Euphorbia succulent plants. And here is my Euphorbia flanag flanagani, amazing Euphorbia Medusa type. And I'm going to just show you a little bit of a video on how to remove all these dead dead sort of branches here that come off during the winter time. So here we go and I've got these long handled tweezers and these are really great for getting right close in where you want to pull off these old, uh, the old dried up um, little branches here. And uh, first of all, I'm gonna show you an example. And I just want to mention that these here, what this type of euphorbies, the medusioids, as they mature, the lower branches will often sort of dry up anyway as the new branches sort of grow up. And uh, it's normal for these to, to die off like this. Is This is what they do. And if I wasn't to water this over the winter at all, then these branches usually end up falling off and end up with a pretty bald looking plant. I do give this a little bit of water about once every six weeks and it stops all these other branches from falling off. Otherwise, I find I lose them all. And I got this tip from my wonderful friend Clyde, uh, Clyde Morris, here on YouTube, Morris Park in the Ozarks. And uh, this stops them from dropping all of the branches off. And they're also not cold hardy. So during the winter, it's really important that you do keep them at a minimum temperature of 10 Celsius, which is 50, 50 degrees Fahrenheit, because they, they can't take any type of cold. So do overwinter these warm. But as I say, this is normal to um, for them to do this. So here we go. I'm going to just show you here how to do this. You just want to go right close in. I'll show you an example here, right to the very end. And you just gently, just gently twist and pull and it comes away like that. And that's all you have to do. And you don't want to, if it's not ready to come out, don't yank it out <laughs> because the euphorbias do give off a little milky sap and it can be an irritating sap. So if I was to pull off one of these, say this is just starting to go a little bit brown here. And I thought, oh, I don't like it. Look at that and pull it off. Don't you wait till it goes completely brown and then literally just pull it out. And it's just, it's not an absolute necessity to do this, but I think it just tidies them up. And the reason why I wanted to do this video is because I think I did a video on this as well, I think a few years ago, but a few people say they have the the medusas and they're dropping a lot of they're sort of going brown the branches and is this normal and do I remove them and I say yes you can so this is just a little video to show you here how it's done so that's all you have to do just keep pulling them out a bit time consuming but it can be a bit therapeutic as well and uh, I'll show you then when this one is all done and when it's all looking nice and tidy And there you go, that's one much tidier Euphorbia flanagani. And look how nice and tidy it looks there. And that's the only one that I've sort of left because it's still yellow. As I say, I don't want to pull it out until it's completely dried up. And it just makes the, I say it's not a necessity to do. It's something that these, these Euphorbias do go, that's how their leaves go as they die off and they form these new ones. And they sort of grow columnar as they get older, but it just tidies it up and also removing all the dead, all the dead sort of branches there. It stops any chances of any pests like mealybugs and other types of pests that can linger in between dried up little, little branches and leaves. So happy days. So thanks so much for watching everyone and for lots more tips and tricks on growing cacti and serpents. Then don't forget to check out all of the other videos here on my YouTube channel and do please subscribe if you haven't done already. I want to wish you all a fantastic plant powered day. Thank you for giving me a nice pruning. <laughs>